Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today we are going to do the Pay to Play Challenge, which is one of those things that I frequently forget about. We have 50 coins, we have money equals power, all the doors are locked with a coin lock. We just gotta find our way here. We are hopefully the sack of pennies is gonna give us plenty of money. Hopefully, fool's gold will help us out as well. And um, just gonna hope it works out. We don't have the lucky foot. I just realized. So actually, taking random pills all over the place might not be the best idea. But I didn't think of that. Of course, we can also just find money. If we can find a quarter in a pot, that would just be really nice. But I'm certainly not expecting it. Um. We'll see, I suppose, and looking for secret rooms might actually be worthwhile as well. I'm not sure if there's uh, item rooms at all in this challenge. Even the boss room appears to be locked, which is a little worrying, but certainly nothing we can't handle. And there is a tinted rock waiting for us. I think if you run out of coins, you just lose. I don't fully recall what happens when you run out of money entirely, but... It's probably not to be not not great. It's just assume it's probably not the best. Uh, doesn't look like there are item rooms, unfortunately. We'll just destroy these poops, and we did indeed get a coin for our trouble and a chest with a pill inside. I'm tempted to see if this is like explosive diarrhea or horf. Unfortunately, it was not. I think I know where the secret room is because it's most likely to be over there. But I don't know if I want to waste this one bomb on it when we also have a tinted rock waiting for us. Oh, I was gonna say, um, I didn't see the curse room there, even though it was on the map, but then I just walked through a wall and I uh, got in there anyway, so it worked out, I suppose. Also, I think if you take damage, you drop coins as well, yeah. Oh, that's not great. Uh, hopefully that's fine, though. Unfortunately, the secret room could also be up here. Uh, and with the room layouts that we're having here, it's not certainly not impossible. I'm just gonna try this stuff, and it did work out. Three coins for our troubles. Not much else, unfortunately, but you know, we uh, wasn't the worst. Not really sure what the best strat is for devil deals and angel rooms. I'm probably gonna go for angel rooms, uh, is what I'm tempted to do, but I'm not, yeah, not 100% sure. Once again, a cursed room waiting for us there. I'm not sure if we can enter this. We can, okay. And we'll just do this because I think it is uh, probably worth the effort. Hopefully we don't take any damage because then we would drop more coins and that would be unfortunate. Obviously a two of diamonds is just incredible for this challenge. So if we can find that, that would be lovely. Our damage right now isn't like superb or anything, but it'll do for uh, our purposes, especially with money equals power. It's certainly better than what it feasibly could be, so I'm not too bothered at the end of the day. But it can be very easy to suddenly take a whole bunch of damage and lose out on everything. Also need to not take damage if we want to have that devil deal open up as well, so a lot of things to be wary of. But we got a coin for our troubles, so overall it was worthwhile. And once again, a little tempted by the cursed room, but knowing that if we take damage, we uh, lose coins as well, it's suddenly become a lot less tempting. Even though we were pretty lucky the first time around with uh, the six coins waiting for us in there, of course, but that's probably not going to happen every time. Tempted to use the anarchist cookbook as well to see if we can maybe enter a secret room of some kind, which there's a decent chance it's in the bottom of that room right there. A little bit more tempted to maybe use bombs for it, though, just because uh, maybe we can use the Anarchist Cookbook on the shopkeepers inside the secret room, which would certainly help. That was a thin room next to that room, so it was actually impossible for a secret room to be there, unfortunately. But I didn't realize that in time. <laughs> Fair enough, though. It is what it is. So far, money-wise, we are being pretty lucky, at least, so that's good. Just gonna drop that one down there, and hopefully... Eh. That'll work out. We got some safety there, thanks to the soul heart. So far, we're pretty lucky with coin drops as well, which I can appreciate. Supposedly, BFF is actually pretty alright, because apparently it makes the sack of pennies just more likely to drop coins, so that's pretty neat. We'll also just use the book of that uh, right there, just because it charges so much in this room. 
And I was hoping that destroying the pots would maybe also give us some more money, but unfortunately it doesn't look like it. I might just use it for the bosses as well, I guess, but I'm not like super stoked about that. Uh, I mean, this is sort of interesting, I guess, if the shopkeeper can have money, but... I don't really want to spend all my keys and bombs on getting that. Don't really care about a one-up at this particular challenge just because uh, it shouldn't be that difficult. So, <laughs> preferably, I would just rather not. I will... I think I'm tempted once again to just use the Book of Anarchy to see if we can destroy some pots in this room as well. Because I think that's just going to end up being really useful if we can get a couple of them. Obviously, not exactly guaranteed with the room this big, but I mean, it's worth a shot, I, I'd say. Just gonna try and stay close to the door as well. Yeah, it really put them very close to the center of the room there, unfortunately. But we, we got a couple of pots, it's not the worst thing for sure. I will just do this, just to get into that shop. There's a stopwatch and a map, I probably don't want to spend money on either of them. A little tempted by the sock that's on sale, though. For two coins to get a bomb, I'd say that's not too terrible. I mean, map might actually be kind of incredible because it limits the amount of rooms you're going to go into. So I think I'm going to risk it and buy the map just so we have a limited amount of rooms we need to visit. Obviously, for this floor, there was pretty much just a straight path, but hopefully that isn't going to get us in trouble with our coin situation and we'll simply make it more likely that we are going to reach the end by doing so. That's the hope at least. Would be nice for sure. Not sure if you need to have coins for the angel rooms and things actually, but we're gonna find out. As you can tell, I have spent a lot of time preparing this as per usual, and uh, we're all just very excited about what's gonna happen at the end of the day. I mean, we're gonna see soon enough whether or not the Devil Deal room has a big coin slot on it, I suppose, but it's always kind of good to know these things in advance at the end of the day. And yeah, there is indeed one of those, so fair enough, I guess. We don't need to be particularly speedy, so that's nice. The super secret room is probably next to the big room or over here. I'm tempted to use one bomb to try and see if we can maybe find it that way. Although maybe just use the Book of Anarchy again, actually. Uh, see if we can move some of these troll bombs. Just slightly close to that wall. It was over there, but unfortunately a bomb then got knocked into me, which is unfortunate. A lot of red hearts. Ugh. Yeah, it was certainly not worthwhile. It was not done very well. <laughs> but fair enough. We're just going to move on. I'm hoping that we're not in trouble. But at the end of the day, it's a little luck based. I feel like I've never really had that much trouble with this challenge, but I mean, there's always a first. I was hoping that that was a secret room because you can, especially with a map, you can just skip a couple rooms like this, kind of. Rather, we can go into that big room over there. Or the small one first. It doesn't really matter either way, I suppose. Uh, because it's the same amount of rooms, but... Well, what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Maybe I should have gone for the small room and the, the odds of it just being a little bit nicer, but overall this room was not too terrifying, especially with our current tier rate and damage. Of course, buying the map also made my damage go down. This is just pretty nice because that's just going to be some extra coins and a free key for our troubles. If we were to find a golden chest, then having gold, the keys available is quite nice, of course. I think that's probably the only thing we can use keys on as well, so... Overall, it's kind of nice to have some available just in case. If we had one for the secret room in the previous floor, I probably would have gone for it, but we really couldn't. We, we didn't. <laughs> Maybe I could have bought one. I'm actually not 100% sure if I could or not, but... Doesn't matter. It's already too late. We cannot go back to that situation. So I'm assuming that the boss is in the top left. And it is. Good. Both, I feel, were possible, like both top left and bottom left were viable, although one was further away from the starting room, kind of, so I was like, eh. But, uh, yeah, it can be a little bit difficult to tell at times. I also wouldn't mind, like, anything that just generates coins, like, beyond the keeper's sack of, or the, uh, pe sack of pennies, of course. Because it would just be really helpful. It would just really just ease things up a little bit, which would be nice, because... The only real danger that's happening here is that we're going to run out of money. Because for the most part, it's just a run to Isaac. 
Obviously, we also don't have item rooms, I suppose, but money equals power is just such a strong item. And the fact that we got a uh, boss challenge room that we could just go into and got more tier 8 out of that was just really nice. Angel room, I think that's probably worthwhile. That's, I mean, it'll have to do. At least it means we don't have to fight the angels, because uh, either way we're going to have an angel room or a devil deal. It's just unfortunate that we can't tell which is which, I just realized. So maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> maybe I should not have picked that up and instead just winged it, because now it's going to be possibly hard to tell which one is which, and maybe we're going to end up wasting a bunch of money on that. Uh, so that's not great. All right, so left is five, right is five as well, kind of. It's tricky, tricky to tell what the right direction is here, even with a map, unfortunately. That's more tier eight, and I will take that. We'll also just use that magician card because I don't want to deal with this boss in any other way. Just want to make sure as many of those tears hit and then move on. Uh, I will also just hopefully blow you up instantly. Very nice. No worries. We got a coin for our efforts as well, so it wasn't a complete waste. We got a bunch of tier eight out of that, which is obviously really nice. And overall, not a bad build. Honestly, not a bad build for our purposes, as long as we can keep that money count up. You can fortunately tell that two of diamonds is a red card, so that's why I'm not especially bothered to go for that card over there. Probably at this point in the amount of runs that we've done, might be a little obvious to mention that, but occasionally, you gotta repeat those things. <laughs> It's good to make sure you know every little bit on these troublesome travels, just because it can very easily be forgotten with the quite substantial amount of information that is available in this game. Uh, so, yeah, that bears repeating, I would say. Either way, can we get some more money? There we go. 40 coins, it's not great, and it was the wrong direction. That is unfortunate. Uh, temperance machines, I think, also end up losing more money than you gain from them, I want to say. Lucky Rock is great, actually. So I'm not, like, super tempted to go in that arcade room, but with Lucky Rock and the Book of Anarchy, we might be alright here, actually. Uh, just gonna hang out over here. I was kind of... hang on. Am I remembering that this is trinket correctly? 33% chance to drop a coin when destroying rock. All right, fair enough. So that's just going to be really nice because it makes destroying rocks just way more valuable. So um, especially in a room like this, kind of wish I had Book of Anarchy for this room, but hopefully we'll have it later. I'd like to just destroy as many rocks as we can. If we could find some way to get like uh, Stompy, that would be amazing, but fairly unlikely due to the fact that we don't have item rooms at the end of the day. The poops have been surprisingly kind this run as well. Really do appreciate that. Uh, I guess down would maybe work. Either either direction is possible, unfortunately. If we can get flight, then obviously that golden chest would be nice, but that's seemingly the only way I can reach it. That's not great, but I will blow him up. And get a coin and a bomb once again for our trouble. We're getting a lot of bombs after we use a bomb, so that's at least something. Tinted rock over there, that might be worthwhile just because our health situation is a little bit on the low side, especially after I blew myself up. There we go. With three bombs, I don't mind using one over there. For a free-ish soul heart. Very nice. Was it this room? Yeah. Uh, let's just see if we can get some of these bombs to blow up some of these things. Uh, a little bit close, but we got three coins out of it, so either way, I'd call it worthwhile. Uh, just because any coin in this challenge matters. I don't know if it counts for these things, actually. Do barrels count as rocks? Probably not. I feel like there's a clear distinction between the two, but you never know with this game. Safety scissors. Uh, I'm tempted to actually do one more room. With safety scissors being there. I think the top one was an angel room, if I saw it correctly. It's hard to tell. It was. Okay, because I think one's a bit more glowy. 
<laughs> it's genuinely quite difficult to tell um, when the effect happens. But there does seem to be a distinction between the two that's visible. So that's at least kind of good. I want to use the safety scissors once uh, just to get a whole bunch of bombs from my Book of Anarchy. After that I want to just keep going with the, uh, the other trinket because it's really nice. But this should give me like five bombs or something like that. Six bombs? Yeah. Thank you, safety scissors. If I could use it more frequently, I would. And I kind of think I want to try this. Uh, maybe a little bit better, though. Okay, maybe this is just not going to happen. Maybe one... Maybe, though? It's not impossible. I'm just going to use up all my bombs. <laughs> Ooh, nearly ran into the spikes there, but it worked out. And we got range. We didn't even get more tear rate out of that because we're apparently maxed out. So, fair enough. That was... Uh, Quite a lot of bombs used to get that, unfortunately, but arguably worthwhile. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Very much arguably worthwhile, but you know, it, it was it was something. And uh, yeah, that'll have to be that again. It's a, a floor where it's tricky to tell where to go. I could make a. I, I think it's to the top, but genuinely not 100% certain. It's very difficult to tell with this, these rooms. Don't love these rooms either, just because it's a lot of jumping enemies, and it can be a little bit easy to get overwhelmed by stuff like that. But if we just slowly but surely walk backwards, then eventually, these enemies will just run into my own tears. So, thank you, Gamepad, <laughs> for allowing me to slowly traverse this terrifying room. Uh, this is also not great, because these enemies just fly towards you, but could be worse. And that also recharges our Book of Anarchy for this room right here, which I don't mind. Hopefully we're going to get a couple rocks here. I could probably move them in more convenient places, but quite frankly, uh, I'm happy to hit anything. <laughs> it's honestly a little bit too dangerous for me to try and worry about all that stuff. It's just uh, too many bombs. Too many bombs for me to care about. Hopefully the boss room is waiting for us right here. It is not. Jeez, okay. Cool. That's fine, I guess. Uh, challenge room. It didn't cost money to go in there, so I guess I might as well. That did not seem worthwhile, though. That is not the kind of trinket that I'm now particularly looking for, but at the same time, the sack of pennies will give us money for the enemies that we... for the waves that we clear, rather. Or at least sometimes. We did get a coin out of it, so if we can get out of here relatively scot-free, then we should be okay here. But, eh, nasty enemies. But we did get more coins out of that than we lost, I do believe, so don't mind it. A little bit of a dangerous one, but fair enough. <laughs> um, I'm going to use it again here, even though it might not work out as well, obviously. It did. It worked out wonderfully. It's actually being surprisingly useful for once, so I, I can appreciate that. As long as rooms have enemies inside them, it means that there's a chance for the sack of pennies to give us more money. So that just makes it very, very nice to have. And if there's no enemies inside, it becomes a little bit more worrying, because then uh, we need to find some way to <laughs> actually get to the end without running out of money as well. So it's... A tricky balance sometimes. So far, we're still very much in the clear, I'd say, of how much money we have. We started off with like 50 coins and, well, quite frankly, we're back at that again, pretty much. So, in terms of that, it's looking all right, but I wouldn't mind a little bit more. Book of Anarchy would probably work in this room for like a skull or something, but probably not much more than that, unfortunately. So, I'm just waiting with it for a little bit. We got an extra bomb. War. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad room, at least. We got that going for us. But war can be a little bit nasty at times. Although you can not probably help us with, uh, <laughs> with the rocks as well, thinking about it. Yeah, there you go. Don't mind it, actually. But in a second, he is probably going to run out of rocks to destroy. Look at that. This trinket is worth its weight in gold. <laughs> it is actually being so useful right now for this run. Very nice. 54 coins. Yeah, don't mind that at all, because I feel like without this trinket, we'd actually be in pretty big trouble at this stage. 
I mean, the sack of pennies is obviously giving us a decent amount of money, but it's certainly not even comparable, I would say, to how much money we've gotten from the lucky rock so far, so very pleased about that. And there you go. Some bombs. Just gonna use that immediately. Hopefully not get in too much trouble here. Probably kill a couple enemies, destroy a couple rocks. All good stuff. Very nice. And finally, the sack of pennies has given us something that is not just a penny. It has given us 10 coins. And that pretty helpfully increased our damage, I do believe. It also just gave us a little bit more opportunity to not suddenly be dead. So all in all, pretty good stuff. Don't love this room too much when you don't have much of a build. But again, because we got so much tier rate, we're honestly doing pretty well. That is also just two fool's golds right there. And we did manage to get mom to destroy them. So that's lovely. Don't have to use a bomb on that. How long of 19 minutes? We could do boss rush. <laughs> it's probably a terrible idea though. That's almost certainly going to be more expensive than it's worth. But still it's an, probably a technically an option if we're quick enough here. Yeah? But I think I will probably pass on that. Would have probably been smart to look for the teleportation thing though, but simultaneously I don't think we would have then been quick enough to reach boss rush, so... Unless there is something truly amazing in there, probably not going to bother. Like C-section would make it tempting. And just about any other item in the game makes it a lot less tempting as well. <laughs> go, did not get that. It also costs a coin to go in there, so you know what? Let's just move on. Polaroid's kind of nice, I guess, uh, if... <laughs> it's probably not going to do anything, but still, it's there, you know. Simultaneously, um... Yeah, not really going to be too worried about it either way. Also, probably be good not to just run into the first brimstone that I see, but I've made my choices. Hopefully this Book of Anarchy use will just kill a bunch of enemies here. We got a pill, interestingly. Which might be good. Tears down wouldn't matter. Pretty fly is pretty okay. Not bad. Uh, this could be good. All turns into regular poops. Maybe a poop trinket, maybe a bunch of money. At least there was money. <laughs> Actually, a surprising amount of money as well. I know the secret room cannot be below here, but it could be above. And I think I think the boss room is going to be in the bottom left, so I'm actually just going to try and blow this up and unfortunately waste our final bomb there. But maybe we can get something out of that chest. God, that Book of Anarchy is really paying for itself already as well. Look at that. I guess there was a, like a super tinted rock or something like that. I didn't even see it. But it works out. <laughs> Don't mind it. I'll happily take that. Come on. Be nice, please. There you go. Maybe the secret room's above here. I can't really tell where else it would be. Unless the boss room's just not below here, but... Given how far away it is... I mean, in the womb, everything goes. It does occasionally have some weird layouts where... You just can't really do much with it. Had I known that that beggar would be there, I would have maybe been tempted to... Uh, keep the safety scissors, but again, the... I think the lucky rock has pretty much been the majority of our build so far because but equals power is pretty much the only damage that we have. So I can't really replace that, unfortunately. Ah, the boss is a noob here. It's Skolex. That's fine. We have a 100% chance of an Angel Room or Devil Deal. Hopefully there is indeed a distinction between the animation between the two. Although at this point it wouldn't really matter too much either way, I suppose. But item-wise, it might be a bit better to go for Angel Room, since we've gotten... Well, some I Angel Room items out of the way, I guess. Not exactly many, but... It's something. And I would appreciate it if he'd stop jumping and uh, show just his damageable part. But instead, he's being a bit of a jerk. And I, for one, don't appreciate it, especially when he just suddenly appears right next to me. I don't know what my health actually is, but I think with those two swords that we got, it's probably fine. I did not pay close attention. Uh, so I'm gonna hope it's this one. Genesis, please. 
Don't even begin with that kind of nonsense. Ah, uh, Dad's lost coin. And well, I mean, it's a diamond job. I'll take it, I suppose. I mean, I barely have a build. I, I could take it, but there's just... <sighs> yeah. We might be able to get a better angel room item with it, but that's really all that can be said about that situation right there. Not exactly thrilled. Utero. Well, it's pretty much a straight route to the... Um... Yeah, to the boss right there from the look of things. There might be a shortcut in terms of secret rooms, though, from the look of things. It, there might be, um, like, in front of that tiny, like, that thin room. The secret room might be in front of that. It might also just be on the far left side of the, <laughs> of the map, but hopefully it's not, is, is the thing, because that's just going to save a whole bunch of rooms that we would have to do. And admittedly, at this stage, it doesn't really matter anymore, because, quite frankly, our money situation is pretty much golden, but still... It would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? I'm gonna try this once, just to see how much money I lose. Four coins. We got five in return this time. <laughs> Probably not worthwhile overall, though, and unfortunately... It is not there. So we are gonna have to go through the entire floor. Fair enough, I suppose. Can't be helped, but... Would have preferred if we didn't, obviously. Not loving these enemies without any sort of piercing tears or... Sort of big tears or damaging tears or realistically anything that could <laughs> be of help at this stage, but it'll have to do. Yeah, I'm guessing the dice room is next to the secret room. I'm in a bad place. Yep. Kinda got myself trapped in a corner there, unfortunately, but fair enough. And then the enemy just sort of stuck around, I guess. Weird. Because of the thin room, the secret room is not to the right over here. Uh, so realistically, I think it has to be here then. There you go. I guess I might as well just blow these up while I'm at it. Lucky rock paying off itself as per usual. And the golden chest, not terrible. A few extra coins at least. That's at least something. Damage wise, we're doing okay. Just gotta worry about the cathedral for the most part, really. And I am. <laughs> I am worried about the cathedral, but hopefully it's gonna be fine. It's not like we have incredibly low damage or anything, and especially, again, with maxed out tier rate, I don't mind that, but... Uh, every hit we take, we lose damage, and also our health goes down, which is not great, of course. Health-wise, we're doing fine. It's not amazing or anything, but it'll manage... Bomb-wise, we're a bit on the low side, unfortunately, but overall, all of this seems manageable so far. Uh, I'm just going to use the meat cube, I think, to get rid of you. Nice and safe. And there is a boss. Let's just kill some eyes and then use the Book of Anarchy. And hopefully not take too much damage ourselves. There we go. It's a decent start, it's not terrible. Usually I would be a little bit less concerned about taking damage during this, but as it stands, <laughs> I can't exactly afford it in every sense of the word, so hopefully we can do this reasonably safely here. So far things are looking okay. I'm worried about the brimstone attack, but fortunately decided to play nice. Not too terrible. What is this? Hush, right. Yeah, okay, maybe... <laughs> didn't even register it as a hush, though. I knew it was an angel room or a devil deal, because the sound didn't play and all that stuff, but I was a little curious. All right, so odds of a shortcut are there. They're not zero, but they're not exactly the highest they've ever been either. Because it can be to the left over here, it can be to the right, it can be in the bottom left, which wouldn't do too much, it can be further in the bottom. All in all, all just stuff that's just a little bit ugh. Um, I'm gonna hope it's here. I'm gonna see if it's here. And in truth, I guess it might be here then. Uh, God, this is a little bit of an awkward enemy to fight with. Build what we have right now, but we're dealing damage, so it should be okay. 
There we go. I'm just gonna keep going. Like, I could use Book of Anarchy right now, but I, it just wouldn't do that much, because then I wouldn't be able to actually get through to the other side of the room. Unless Greed was there, I guess. But I'm just gonna go with the assumption that he's not. Didn't even really register that enemy being there, unfortunately. So that was a little bit of a waste of health for sure, because that is the one resource that I don't exactly have in abundance right now. And bombs, of course, but... And uh, from the look of things, I don't mind that I didn't use the Book of Anarchy, because it's either down here or further to the left, I would say. And there we go. Okay, that was all a little bit closer than I would have liked, but the trinket is tempting. Wooden chest. We haven't seen one of those before. We only recently unlocked it. Three pills. Is it good? No, um... Could be worse. <laughs> a little scary. I'm a little concerned about this being bad trip, but I'm gonna check it out anyway. Verp. I guess Hematemesis would have been pretty terrible at that stage, but... At the same time, with Verp being there, it doesn't really matter. But then again, I didn't know it was Verp, so... It was a series of bad choices when you really think about it. Maybe I shouldn't have taken a pill at the very last floor of the run. <laughs> eh, what can you do? I was kind of hoping that there would be like a full health pill in there that I could then somehow magically create again. <laughs> it was unlikely, admittedly, but you know, sometimes you gotta have dreams. Sometimes you gotta make life a little bit more interesting. Oh boy, that was way closer than it really needed to be. That's a bad chest. I will come back for you. Just shooting a rock, not knowing it was there. Get a little bit of damage in with that meat cube every now and then, but overall, an acceptable time. For for a room that doesn't really have much of a build going on, it's, it's going all right. <laughs> it's going okay. I'm only slightly concerned the entire time. Bomb for a bomb, and a key for a key. One more room, and then we... Uh, yeah, this is a terrible room, I don't like this at all. Way too many tears, but we somehow managed to destroy two of those ghosts without me even realizing it, so fair enough, I guess. Okay, uh, if we don't attack, we can just hang out here forever, but at some point we're gonna have to do something, unfortunately. Just gonna start with the Book of Anarchy just because it's at least a little bit of starting damage and it becomes a little scary to use when there's actually enemies here, so... We're just gonna play it like that and then hope we can get through this fight with relatively low damage. So that's the last fight of the run after all, so it would be nice if we could actually survive it. The beams are not playing too kind. He's not spawning too many enemies, at least, so that's good, and he has reached the phase where things are usually okay. But the beams really need to stop it. <laughs> Admittedly, at this point, the beams are very much avoidable as long as I move, so... I should at least be okay for the most part. But it's very easy to accidentally make a mistake, like that one got real, real close. <laughs> I could accidentally use the telepills. And then we're uh, just gone again, which wouldn't be too great. But from the look of things, it's going all right. There we go. Just a little bit more damage, and there we are. Tricky challenge, honestly. Especially when your build is a little bit uh, lackluster, I would say. But we unlocked two new pills. I believe it's Addicted and Perks. So overall, pretty... Uh, they're pills. I mean, Perks is pretty nice. It does have its moments, but it is rare that it really shows up in a good way in a run. <laughs> but it is another challenge completed. We are almost done with the... Afterbirth challenges? I think this is Afterbirth, and this is Afterbirth Plus. And then this is Repentance. So yeah, we're... Got one more of those left, two more of the Afterbirth Plus, and two more of Repentance Challenges, and then we will be completely done with all of them. And, uh, of course, there's this one, which might still be the very last thing that gets done on the save file, just because it makes your save file worse. So, I'm gonna leave that one for later, but either way, hope y'all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll be doing another run with a different character, and I hope to see y'all there. Bye-bye.